Hey Spirit Junkies, welcome back. My topic today is how to trust the signs from the universe. I hear people all the time saying, I got my sign, but I'm not really sure what that means, or I'm not getting my sign, and I don't believe that I'm being guided. And so there's a lot of stress I'm noticing about asking for your sign. If you're reading The Universe Has Your Back, you know that there's a lot of lessons and exercises and asking for a sign from the universe and just following that guidance. But the greatest way to stay connected with what your sign means or what the sign's guidance is offering you is to always just tune in to how you feel. If you receive a sign and it makes you feel connected and you feel aligned and you feel like you're receiving an intuitive message to move forward in a certain direction, trust that guidance. If you're seeing your sign out in the world, but you don't feel connected to it and you feel like there's ego around it, like you're trying to make something happen or you're trying to play tricks with the universe, then that's time to really just reclaim your presence and tune back in through your meditation practice and get centered again. Because when we're using these signs from the universe as a way to manipulate or control an outcome or try to make ourselves feel a sense of certainty when we feel uncomfortable, that's not the process. This is a conversation. When we're in alignment with the universe, we're in conversation. So that conversation is not based on ego or outcome. That conversation is based on a free flowing energy that is supporting you and guiding you. So you want to be in the wonder of what the messages are that you're receiving and not control the outcome of what it is that's coming through. So if you find yourself trying to like search for your sign or control your sign or, or you're, you're seeing it but you're not understanding what it's meaning, that means that your ego is in the way. So the key is to just get back into alignment through your meditation and through your prayer and maybe even just by rereading the book and just reconnecting to what that relationship to the universe means to you and then start to ask for your signs from that presence and from that place of alignment. And when we begin to open up our conversation with the universe from a place of alignment rather than a place of neediness and control, we will then hear clear direction. Whereas if we're in a place of control and trying to make some manifestation happen or trying to get clear direction on something that we've been trying to, to, to be overly controlling about, then we get in the way of the messages that we are here to receive. So just take your logical mind out of it, step back, get into that sort of energy of, of, of wisdom and intuition through your meditation, through your reading of this book, through the practices in this book, and get back into alignment with that connection to the universe and ask for your sign from that place, from that place of inner wisdom, from that place of intuition, and from that place of receptivity. Then you can trust that the messages you're hearing are guiding you and putting you on the right path. But always tune into what is the energy that you are putting out when you're asking for guidance. If the energy is ego-driven, you can trust that the responses will be muddied. Whereas if the energy is in line with love, you will always get clear direction. So use this book and let it be a constant resource for you to get back into alignment with the connection to the universe. Share with me the messages of what your signs are giving you below and let me know if you're having any trouble, I'll respond to you right away. And, and let's just work together to always be conscious of the energy that we put forth when we're asking for guidance, making sure that it's clear, connected, and aligned. Satnam.